name is Richard, a.k.a. Dick. Good evening and welcome to The Venue Live. My name is Roger Ramirez and this is Houston's first online live venue brought to you from r, &R Studio. Here in the studio, we are with a very, very familiar face and a good friend of mine, Jose Ortega. Welcome, Jose. Dude, thank you for having me, dude. This is, I'm so it's, honored to be here. It's a pleasure. I have played with you countless of times, have done tons of jam sessions. <laughs> for sure. Have, have, done just about everything together with involving music guys <laughs> involving music only. Let's, let's not let's not get any ideas <laughs> so introduce yourselves and tell us uh who's who's coming who came with you today okay so my name is jose ortega uh, so i got a couple friends and, and they're helping me jam out to make this sound more a lot more full so uh, i'm gonna let them introduce themselves but this is the drummer over here next to me he has that heartbeat that thump uh yeah so uh i'm the drummer um i met jose uh I guess a few months ago, and uh, he invited me to come jam with him, and uh, we've kind of been kicking it ever since, and I'm loving what I'm doing. Um, my name is Richie, um, and yeah, I do the drum thing. Awesome. Well, uh, welcome, Richie. Welcome to the studio. Uh, well, my name is Juan. I've been playing bass. For if you don't mind, bring the, there we yeah, go. My name is Juan. I've been playing bass for as long as I can remember. Uh, I've known him since ever because I've known his brother, the faggot ass brother, but <laughs> <laughs> Dang. let him watch, let him watch. Dang. Nah, but it's, it's really cool to be here. It's really cool to see him grow up and uh and and make a unique sound, you know, I mean it's just to be part of it, it's amazing. So tell us tell us about yourself, Jose, and and how you how you ended up like performing in front of people. I know some people play like as kids, but what made what made you take that jump and say like, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna play in front in front of people? Like, what was the turning point to that? So, um, I've always kind of loved music. When I was younger, I played violin, but um, it wasn't necessary. No shit. Yeah, I played for four years. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, dude, played for four years, bro. Uh, four or five years, but the thing is, I stopped because it was uncool. Like, it was like a lot of people made fun uh, of me for it. Boo. I, would, it was, I know it's because I would sway. And like, and people would be like, they'd be like, oh, who am I? Who am I, bro? So they would always fuck with me. Um, but uh, when I got back into it, really, I swear. Lame. I know. To all those guys who were I doing know. that, it was saying, fuck you. Yeah, for, it really did. And if you're watching, thank you for watching. I, <laughs> hey, I was second chair, and then I was like, you know what? I was like, and then my friends made fun of me, and I was like, oh, man, I'm, I'm going to go down on the chairs real quick. I'm going to go down. Now, I really, I did do that, but. But I caught back my love again, like in, in college. Uh, one of my friends, he start, he was like, hey, you want to play a show for some friends? And uh, we ended up getting drunk and playing this show for a couple friends at my house. Mm -hmm. And it was the best feeling in the world. Oh, like, awesome, it's dude. something you can't replace. I mean, as you, all of us as musicians, we know what that feels like. You know, it's just yeah, that. Dude, of course. It's, Absolutely. You know, at what point did you decide to, to hop on the singer-songwriter train as opposed from just playing the typical cover songs? Um, I'd all, I've always wanted to do it, um, just because it's, it's, you could tell a story. I think that's what I like about the singer-songwriter yeah. yeah. singer stuff, is you could really just tell a story. Yeah, that is very true, man. As a singer-songwriter myself, <laughs> all of my songs are stories. Yeah. Uh, either, like, true stories, or, like, stories that you can just make up or imagine. I mean, a song you can just tell and talk about it, whatever you want. It's a fucking song. Yeah, it's like, or something you heard at a bar. Or like, you heard, yeah. Or any, yeah. any, little, any little thing can trigger just uh, uh, a melody or, or a good chorus, and then you just kind of start um, developing from that. You know, you, you get a good chorus going on, then you, you find a good chord progression to go with it, and then you're like, hey, you got a song all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 like, um, it's like right when you finish that song, it's the most, like, Exci it's like a drug, bro. It's like you're chasing the dragon. It it's it, I don't know, that's all I can explain <laughs> it, bro. That's Puffing it. that magic dragon. <laughs> Tell us about your style. You have a very unique style. I like your style. I love your style. I love what you do. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. Um, it's the style. I guess is like uh, I I I really just people that I, I try to emulate somebody and I failed. I feel like that's what the, that's how you end up making your own style. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, emulate yeah. try to emulate somebody and then you fail and you're not that person and you're just like. 
like and then I, I was just like oh like this works for me you know this works for yeah. me so it just kind of went more towards blues but like a little bit of singer songwriter kind of yeah. poppy so well, it's, it's very bluesy it's very very swanky yeah 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 it, yeah it is very swanky every time i hear this guy has a delicious voice every time <laughs> i hear his voice i literally want to grab a pillow and just like curl up and like, <laughs> and, like just go to bed <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. And that's what got me like into wanting to jam with him was the fact that I loved his voice so much. Like I heard it uh, randomly on uh, the CD that this dude gave me at the bar. <laughs> he found this CD on the ground. He was like, "Dude, I don't know who this is. I love this CD." Did he give so you much. the CD in exchange for something? No, or, no, no. Or, or, no he, he was just like raving about it. He's like, "Dude, I put this CD <laughs> in my truck, and I haven't taken it out of my truck. I can't stop listening to it." And he had it for like two months, and he finally showed it to me. And it was him, and I found him on, um, I think it was SoundCloud. I just looked up the name. Oh, nice. After you heard the CD? Yeah, after I heard the CD, because he really wanted to know who it was. But before that, y'all didn't know each other. No, not at all. Wow. And then I invited him the out to one of my power shows of music. With, uh, with my band, because I wanted to meet him and, and like hang out with him. And then he came back with us after the show to our Airbnb, and we just kind of kicked it and chilled. I brought out my acoustic guitar, and he jammed for a little bit, and... Uh, then like the next weekend he hit me up and he was like hey man i'm going to play at this bar come play the drums awesome so i was like all right dude and then we've kind of been jamming so, like so, ever so since. that's why he stopped calling me to play saxophone with that <laughs> that's probably it yeah, yeah. <laughs> i took your spot <laughs> <laughs> so jose uh back to you uh and i would love to interview you and and another time He's gonna bring his band so rise we're gonna of do the broken with his band. What's the name of his awesome band, band. rise of the broken rise of the broken yeah. this is your invitation right here so better come that, Tell us um, about your musical influences. Uh, my musical influences are all over the place, man. Um, my first love of music was uh, rap, really. It was like uh, the underground, awesome. the underground Houston rap scene. Oh, nice. Like Big Mo, Zero. I'm probably, I don't know if you know. I have no idea what you're talking okay, about. It's, I, it's like I, yeah. I love them. Suc. It's okay, but that's, but that was my first love of music. And then it went from, <laughs> it's weird because it changed dramatically. Then it went to Dance Gavin Dance. Then it went to Ed Sheeran. So it just got like. I know that one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, that's awesome, dude. That's, that's, uh, I wish I had something relatable to those influences. But I remember growing up, we used to listen to like hip hop and rap. I mean, that was, that was what was in as a child. I, I didn't know any better uh, about songwriting. I didn't know that I was going to be a musician. If anything, I thought I was going to be like a, a video. Oh, I am doing video. Yeah. Uh, never mind. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> never mind. I do a little bit of it all. So tell us about the songs that you're going to play for us today. Uh, so I'm going to do a couple originals and a couple of covers. Uh, some of them are off the, the EP that I have. Uh, it's called Uranium. On, it's on Spotify. Yeah, yeah. Tell them where they can find you. you know, it's, it's on Spotify, Apple Music, um, you, pretty much anywhere you can stream music or look up online. It's it's there. Um, and then we got some new songs that I've done. It's uh, it's called Fucked Up. We're gonna probably do, and uh, some other co some covers that we uh, we play together really well that I really want it for them to hear and probably enjoy. Yeah, so that's awesome, dude. All right, so this is getting streamed live to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. If you're on YouTube, remember to subscribe, hit that little bell. So they're gonna remind you, we're gonna be showing a lot of acts. Uh, we have. Uh, Did you say ass or acts? <laughs> ass and oh, acts. acts. Oh, okay. <laughs> now we're, we're gonna be showing a lot of a lot of musical talent for the next few days. We have tons of bands lined up. Uh, share the videos if you're on Facebook. Give us a like. Share the videos. Tell your friends about us. Uh, if you're on Twitter, I believe Twitter does hearts. I believe so. I believe yeah, Twitter yeah. does hearts. So let's get ready. Let's not keep our audience waiting, and uh, let's 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 get ready to let's get ready to jam, guys. Let's. All right, guys. We're gonna take a, a thirty second break. These guys are gonna go get in the studio. We're gonna switch to everything. You're gonna see the setup. Uh, stay tuned. Yeah. Here we go.
Awesome. So uh, here we are. We're getting ready. The guys are uh, hopping in their spots. Um, and we're just going to let them. Uh, they're putting on their in-ears. Uh, by the way, this is Roger Ramirez. Thank you guys for watching. We have a couple of guests today here in the studio. Introduce yourselves, buddy, and tell us how you know Jose. I'm Ruben over here, and I just know him. He's uh, my friend's older brother, and I've kind of heard of him singing a lot, so I really like his music, you know? Oh, uh, I'm the camera guy. <laughs> I'm the camera he's, guy. He's the camera. What are you looking for, man? In Your in-ears. Right We're looking for in-ears. Oh, oh, here we go. Uh, here we go. We're, we're interviewing your homeboys right now. Do it. <laughs> so, all right. So, so go ahead, man. Tell us a little about yourself. Uh, so, he just graduated. I'm here visiting Jose. <laughs> so, we're all kind of like uh, scrambled up in here. Yeah. But either way, like, uh, we're still, you know, here to support you, uh, uh, Richie out there, Juan, Jose. So, we're just here to pretty much, you know, be a uh, live guest to this. Cause yeah. it's the first awesome. Time Awesome, guys. All right, so we're about to make history. We have the, these guys in the studio today. Uh, I believe they're still getting ready. But uh, once, uh, once they hop on, uh, once they get ready, I'm going to switch to them, and, uh, and we can go from there. Check one, two. You got, hey, hey, guys, can you all hear me? Yes, we can. All right, awesome. And our crowd can hear you now. So we're making sure everything is set up. Yee. So they can hear us all? We're, we're live now? We're over here? Oh, they can't? Okay. Okay. So yeah, so, uh, so this first song is called Maybe. Um, definitely with this song, this one, it, it, uh, it's a little bit more emotional. I, when I wrote it, I wrote it for a different reason. Uh, but it's it's emotional because I I played at a show and I was dead sick like dead sick, and um and this lady she was in the back row like on the back row of the gig and she like turned around and she started like she was like she looked like she was crying and I thought she was just drunk because I see drunk crying people all the time at gigs, and so I played it and then she like was crying she was really like looking and really paying attention, and then uh later on in the gig I was feeling like shit I couldn't think of any other song so I played it again. And she was up in the front row, and she started like crying again. And it, it it really was like I was. She tip. She put something in the tip jar, and then um, after that set, I went and talked to her, and she was uh, she was like, "Hey, um, I just want to let you know what was that song called?" And I was like, "It's called Maybe." And she was like, oh, "Who sings it?" And I told her it was one of my own. And uh, she was like, "Oh, that that song really touched me because it reminded me of my husband." And so, long story short, we started talking, and she was telling me that her husband, that story really related to her and her husband and how they met um and she ended up telling me that 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 was like i think it was in september of last year she told me that in may they always usually go to uh this place in mexico they go there for 13 years they've gone there for 13 years for their anniversary and that's like one of their favorite places to go and uh, well they ended up going scuba diving and uh he ended up passing he ended up drowning and uh she couldn't save him and it was like a really, really emotional story. And she was just crying and just being out there, just trying to get over it. And uh, it really touched me. So like this song no longer means the same meaning that what I wrote it for. It means like what she thought of it as, you know. So um, I hope you guys like it. It's called Maybe. And if Anne's listening to this, I hope you like it. Awesome. Take it away, bro. It's all yours. Stage is yours.
Lady, I, oh no. 
I've been going crazy. Maybe you could be my lady. I said, baby, I Very, very nice, Jose. <coughs> Jose, tell us, tell us a little bit about about uh, that pedal that you have down there. Um, I know we didn't, we forgot to talk about it. I wanted to oh, talk did. about it, but uh, we didn't we didn't really get a chance to to really get into that. So tell the people what you're doing with that pedal. So with this uh, loop pedal, you're able to uh, loop harmonies or and also beats and uh, guitar strums. So like, I'll do a little little demonstration. See. So, you put that left one, the left pedal right there, to re start recording. So, for instance, if I wanted to do, uh, and it just keeps recording. And you don't, you don't have to, and you don't have to touch it anymore. There we go. So. Yeah, so you don't have to touch it. And then the right one stops it. And then you can keep going. I think you play better uh, drums on your guitar than I do on the actual drum. So you can do stuff like that, so. Excellent, man. I just wanted to... Uh, for people that don't really don't really are not exposed to that type of situation, I wanted to to kind of put that out there. But keep going, man. Don't let me interrupt you. Great no, song, sure. man. Great voice. Keep going, bro. You, the stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I think definitely that would help clear out what I was doing. They're like probably like, what the hell is he doing? He's just clipping pedals over there. All right. So uh, this next song is called Kane. I uh, hope y'all like it. It's about cocaine. Um, and it was one of my friends. He. Uh, he was going through some hard stuff, and the lady, uh, the lady he was with, and is still with, um, gave him the ultimatum. It's either me or this stuff. So I hope you like it. It's a 
the bodies being burned. Four walls just staring at the brother. I'm paranoid, sleeping with my finger on the trigger. My mother's always stressing I ain't living right. But I ain't going out without a fight. See, every time my eyes close, I start sweating and blood starts coming out my nose. There's somebody watching me, yeah. And I don't know who it is, so I'm watching my back. I can see him when I'm deep in the covers. When I'm awake, I don't see the motherfucker. He owns a black hat like I own. A black suit and a cane like my own. Some might say, take a chill beat, but fuck that shit. There's a brother trying to kill me. I'm popping in the clip when the wind blows. Every 20 seconds got me peeping out my window. Investigate the joint for trap side. I check my telephone for tap. The rolling on the corner It's fucked up when your mind's playing tricks It's the best of us all And I used to wake up and I did it in the morning Just to get through class cause it was so damn boring I started acting different around my friends They started saying I was acting kinda, kinda foreign And yup, you said you had enough I knew this time it wasn't a fun or a bluff And when you left I knew enough is enough uh, Enough is enough And oh, you gotta stop right now I've seen that shit take people to the ground I'm not going through the pain of watching you go completely insane. And oh, you say you can't feel your pain, and you can't feel the pain. Oh, stop doing the game. Stop doing the game. Stop doing the game. Yeah, so we uh we threw some ghetto boys in there. My friend uh obviously got off the cane, so. Shout bro, out to you, bro, that was phenomenal. Thank you, brother. Jose Thank Ortega, you. live from R and R Studio. For sure. Thank you for having us, bro. I bro, really appreciate you having us in the you, hospitality. It's a pleasure to always have you come by and say hi, bro. I'm getting a lot of somebody just texts me. Sounds amazing, dude. Way to go. Somebody's like people are texting me. People are watching you on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, bro. Hey, uh, what are you drinking, Jose? What are you drinking, bro? Uh, we're, we're sponsored by Crawford Bach. Uh, Houston <laughs> over here. You know, uh, you know Crawford Bach. What is it? What is it? The, uh, yep. Carbach. Go ahead. Oh, 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 Carbach. Carbach. Well, I was thinking, uh, yeah, well, this is the particular you mean, beer. You mean, you mean we're looking for sponsorship? We are. Yes. You know, hey. Especially beer sponsorship. That would be great. We are. We are <laughs> going to be. We're going to be shooting out some, some emails to some people after a couple of hundred. Sh nah, after a couple of shows. See what, see what we're all about, man. Thank you again, man. Keep going. The stage is yours. Do not let me distract you, bro, because I will. Oh, no, no. It's, it's no problem at all, bro. You're, you're a bud, bro. We talk. We can talk all day. <laughs> all right. So um, this next one, I think it would be a cool one. Uh, it's a real artist. That, uh, well, not real artist, but a uh, favorite artist of mine that his music was super dear to me. Um, and he passed away this year. Um, so I, I hope you all like it. It's, uh, it's a cover of Mac Miller. It's called uh, Don't Know. Uh, but I hope you like it, man. Uh, it really hits in the feels. But. She do whatever she like. And that just don't seem right. Fucking almost missed my flight. I wasn't even tripping, I said it's alright. And goddamn, we was here last night. Wouldn't you rather get along? 
Wouldn't you rather get along? You was coughing when you hear my way, yeah. And I never seen you feel that free, yeah, 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 yeah. So key you wanna be like me, yeah. Wouldn't you rather get along? Wouldn't you rather get along? Until Until there is no longer And let's get lost inside the cloud But you ain't gotta work harder I can calm you down I can calm you down I was busy when you hit my phone Say you miss me, tell me come back home Oh, you don't like to sleep alone I'm always taking too long I'm always taking too long We don't need a trip, we could be right here When the shit get away, we could switch our gears I wanna see them live, see me ear to ear Oh, I wanna feel just how you feel Touch you one more time so I know you're real We could spin that wheel, wouldn't you rather get along? So R.I.P. Mac Miller, man. Very Big cool, fan. man. Very, yeah. very, very, very cool. I really like that one. Uh, it really touched. I feel like we're, like we're all really big fans of that. So uh, I hope uh, whoever's listening, we did it some justice. So, um, yeah, so we got another song called uh, Fucked Up. Uh, and we, uh, I wrote it at a mad time, I guess you'd say. Um, Basically, the song is basically the gist of you got me fucked up for treating me like this. But in all honesty, I was probably the more fucked up person. So <laughs> so that girl probably, God bless her, man. She was an angel. But um, You were just being salty? Man, I was being salty, bro. I, I was being <laughs> salty. I'm not going to lie. I took a look at my inner self and was like, hey, uh, you're kind of a dick, bro. <laughs> so like, <laughs> so, like uh, at that point, so, you know. That's <laughs> That's hilarious, bro. I love this song, by the way. Oh, thank you. We recorded here in the studio a few days ago. We did, we did. I can't wait. To, well, we mix it up. It'll be nice. Yeah, bro. Nice. Here we go.
say what's on my mind It's played about two dozen times I'm just trying to say what's right Fuck it I'll just say, I'll just say What comes to mind You got me fucked up on to play me like this You got me fucked up all To treat me like shit I gotta keep my heart on the swivel When my heart's on the line Plus I got about six or seven times You got me fucked up all To play me like this You could say I ignore the sign Maybe once or twice or even three times And yes, you ignored me and caused me so much pain I stayed faithful, I know you can't say the same A couple girls tried to show me some leg But I never took the bait cause you were on my brain And I, and ladies, if you hear this fucking song You can call me right back and I can please you on that long You got me fucked up on to play me like this me fucked up but that's probably I was definitely worse so I'll say that so we'll but fuck it one more time we'll do it again you got me fucked up on to play me like this yeah 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 you got me fucked up on to play me like a bitch Jose, what a pleasure to have you in the studio, buddy. Thank it's you. It's a buddy. pleasure, man. Um, always, you're always welcome. Always welcome with your original music. Love your voice. Uh, so tell tell the people how can they find you on the social media so that they can get in touch. So besides this stream going live, we're gonna put up all your social media anyways. But tell them where they can find you. Uh, so you can find me pretty much, I guess, uh, anywhere on social media. Uh, Silver Medalist Two. 
I had to put silver medalist too because there's so many Jose Ortegas. <laughs> uh, there's well, it's well, a very common well, bro, name if you well, didn't know. Well, bro, my name is Jose. Yeah. As well. <laughs> Juan. Juan. Your name is Juan. Vela como Juan en la Cubana. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> That's cool, man. Dude, well, it's been a pleasure, man. Uh, any anecdotes you want to tell the people before before we before we finish the stream? Anything, any guys you want to share? Uh, definitely check out Richie's band, The Drummer. Yeah, Richie has an awesome band called Rise of the Broken. They play awesome music. Ch go ahead. You let, I'll let you do it. That's your band, bro. Yeah, so uh, I play drums for a band called The Rise of the Broken. Uh, we do, like, alternative rock stuff. Um a little heavier than this, more uh, rock and roll stuff. But, uh, I mean, it's just fun, laid back, chill. Well, hopefully we can get you in here, bro. Hopefully we can get you here that in the studio. Awesome. I've been asking you, bro. You never return my phone calls. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just kidding, guys. I probably thought it was a bill collector. <laughs> 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 guys, thank you very much for joining us tonight. And, and uh, Juan, bro. Oh, and Juan. Thank you yeah. for having uh, us, man. He's just a bassist, bro, that is playing in all different kinds of bands. Amazing bassist. Picks up stuff so easily. I want to thank him for being out here, bro. Thank you so much. Man, it's, it's a pleasure to be just part of this sound, man. It's amazing. <laughs> well, thank you, guys. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, remember, if you're on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can find me as Roger Ramirez Official because if, as my name is Jose. There's so many. There is just as many Rogers, but you want the official Roger. If you're on Facebook and YouTube... Uh, if you're on Facebook, share the event. We want to make sure that Jose's music is heard. And uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you very much. It's been a total pleasure. <laughs>